I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, get to draw up a blueprint for beautiful football weather. This has got to be it. Picture perfect autumn day for football. Some leaves outside the stadium. Dan, Peter, Susie, they're there to enjoy it. Atlanta Falcons, Carolina Panthers, straight ahead. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hello and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Dan Stevens. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth. And Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. Number 25 is just a great all-around running back. He's got speed, vision, jukes, power, a little bit of everything. Tell you what, Dan, his teammate isn't too shabby either. Number five is a tall, lanky receiver who has the ability to elevate over defensive backs to rip down the high pass. A talented duo to be certain. They just might make the difference out there. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Tails it is. Number ten kicking off. The ref the gets the signal and we're it's set. Time for Number ten boots the opening kickoff. Number 83 fields it all the way back at the four. Brought down at the 28. A nice day for football. And ESPN Susie Culber will tell us if it will stay that way. Susie. Thank you, Dan. It's a beautiful, temperate day. The conditions couldn't be better right now for a game of football. Back to you, guys. Susie, thank you. Falcons will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Number 25, choose up nine yards, and that will bring up second down. Number 25, stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it second paid off one. big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number eight, goes in motion. Number four, puts just about everything he's got into this one, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Number eight, reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time, and he knew where he had to be. Peter, how's that for a way to start for a receiver? First pass out of the gates is a bomb, and he gets under it to make the catch. You gotta love it. Make the defense a little off guard from the get-go. Number 25 gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Number 25 is backed up by some big old numbers. 5'11", 221. That's a big back who prefers to run over defenders rather than around them. Second and six. Ball up to 23. Number four zings it to the right side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number four makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Ball at the seventh. Miller catches at left sideline, and that's Anderson good for a gain of five. Miller drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. A decent play, and they will now face second and short. Would you take a shot here? Well, there are a lot of options in this situation, but it may not be a bad idea. Number 25 gets the toss and ends up losing about three. Thomason targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Number 40 goes in motion. 
number 25 gets the call again and gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Number seven from 18 yards and they take the lead. Number seven has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Number seven, kicking off for the Falcons. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number seven kicks this one away. Bird fields the kickoff at the three. Stop at the 31. Bird received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Panthers' offense takes the field, and they will start at the 31-yard line. Sanders gets the call on first down and chews up about four on the play. Watch the counter. Second Watch and the six. Counter. Counter. Ball at the Panthers' 35-yard line. Rhino, down. We Sanders picks up six on the play, and that brings up first down. Sanders played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down from the high. Sanders, the ball carrier. Carter with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the Panthers' 42-yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Sanders carries it for the fourth straight time and gets past the line. Drag down at the 43. Sanders powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Number 14 unloads this one to the left, and it's off. Incomplete. Right there. Oh, uh. uh, yeah, baby. Woo. All day. Yeah, baby, yeah. Number 10 lines up for the punt. Number 10 takes the snap and punts it away. Smith fields the punt at the 14. Tackled at the 27. Number 12 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. And That's that'll do it for quarter. quarter number one. The Falcons with a small lead, three to nothing. Falcons have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Number five goes in motion. Number four rifles it out left side, and it gets away from him incomplete. Number five. Number four was off on that last throw. The short pass did not connect with the receiver. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Falcons 27 yard line. Number five catches the hard throw and picks up four on the play. Pass interference, number 25, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Woods, manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan and he rightly got slapped with First defensive pass interference. First down and four wideouts in the game. Number four, zips it to the left sideline and gets intercepted. A 
it's all about getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Panthers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 36 yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Sanders dodges this one way out right and takes it upfield. Eventually tackled at the 25. First down. Sanders keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. Number 14 just rifles this one, Passes and incomplete. it's off incomplete. Second down with a split backfield. Ball at the 25. Carter tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. With the deflection. Carter got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Roberts goes in motion. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number four plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let this one get away. Yeah, Peter, they had him double covered, and they still couldn't get to the ball in time. He was just too good for them. Yeah, he's an incredible receiver. Nothing gets in his way. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. This pass will fall hard. Harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number four goes in motion. Sanders takes it off the toss and passes the line. And touchdown! Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. But so far, he's got 34 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and the extra point it's good. Is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10 kicks it off. Smith catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 22. Number 12 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Falcons stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. Miller goes in motion. Number 25 takes it for his fifth carry and picks up a couple. Number 25 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight. Ball at the Falcons' 24-yard line. Number 
25, loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Number 49 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. It's intercepted. Drag down at the 36. Number eight knew exactly where the ball was going on that last play. Thanks to some great single zone coverage, his positioning got him the interception. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Panthers are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at the 36-yard line. Number four goes in motion. His number called on first down and picks up a couple. Okay, guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Let's stick to the plan. Second down with the tight end right. They couldn't connect on That's this incomplete. one. Incomplete. Number four. Number four had receiver. that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. The incompletions keep piling up, Time and even stay. here They're in the second quarter, stay. it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Bird goes in motion. Number 14 throws a heater and it That's falls incomplete, incomplete. Yeah, that's what I'm with the about. deflection. That's what I'm about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we pay for, man. Number 10 yeah, lines up to punt after the three and out. Smith to make the return. <laughs> Number 10 takes the long snap and names this one out of bounds. This will fly out of bounds at the 11. Number 10 did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Falcons have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 11-yard line. Number 4 fires this one over the middle, and it's complete for a gain of 3 yards. Wilson with the tackle. Number four has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 61 yards and two interceptions. Second, Second down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the Falcons' 14-yard line. Number five brings down the lob left right, sideline yeah, and is well it. past oh, the markers for a first down. Oh, man, you just blew it. You just blew it. Number five has a guy shadowing him but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Number 25 gets his seventh carry of the game and picks up a couple. Number 49 with the tackle. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Ball at the Falcons' 33-yard line. Number 25 picks up a yard on the play and that will bring up third down. 25 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Number four rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number five tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Third and long. They have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Number 13 gets ready to punt this away. 
Number 13 gets the ball and punts it away. Bird fields it at the 23. Brought down at the 34. Bird racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Panthers' offense takes the field with the clock at three. And that'll do it for the first half That's of this the one. The Panthers quarter. are out in front, 7-3. to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Gano, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody. The ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Falcons should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number eight is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. The Falcons get the first points of the game and go up by three. Falcon now early in the second quarter. The ball at their own 32 yard line. Number eight was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Panthers still in the second quarter. Panthers behind by three. Sanders get up ahead of steam and then it was clear sailing from there. They take their first lead of the game and are now up by four. The Falcons on defense, number eight, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Falcons trailing seven to three. Number four would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers are holding on to a lead, seven to three. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Sanders has played outstanding. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there, gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Panthers will receive to start Number the seven, second half, the and they currently enjoy a small lead, 7-3. to three. Let's get down to the field and the action. <laughs> It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You're going to be all right, man. You all right? You're going to be all right? Check this out. You see this right here? feel this? All right. It hurts. Right there, right there. Don't worry. You're going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Let me help you. Let me help you. Come on. Come on. You got to get Come on. I need you. You got to get back to us. You want to go? You think I'm going to be all right to play? The, the Panthers the offense takes Carolina. the field and they will start out at their own 24 yard line. Number 14 puts his arm into this one and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Anderson read the play beautifully, smacked that ball down as soon as it got to within reach. You know, as a team, they are batting Second down passes ten. left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Number 88 goes in motion. Number four reels in the football and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 14 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Sanders will take the handoff and heads left, tackled at the 42. Sanders has got a bunch of carries, and you can see by his chart here how his running performance breaks down, mostly to the outside, and it's working okay, although I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. So far, he's got 42 yards on nine carries. 
Second down, Second two receivers to the left. Ball at the Panthers, 42-yard line. Sanders catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 14 gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number four goes in motion. Sanders barrels off his left guard and rambles for about five. With the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the 30-yard line. Sanders is at the 20. Eventually shot out at the 16. It will be first down. Carter eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker, that one's gonna hurt. They can't pin him down on second and long, and now it's first and 10. Very disappointing execution by this defense. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Hubbard will get the carry on first down and gets past the line. Stopped at the 13. Second and six. Ball at the 13. Sanders goes right up the middle and chews up about four on the play. Johnson with the tackle. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Number 14 throws a heater right sideline and they convert on third down. Over 88 easily outclassed his defender on that catch and he had that play all the way. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Number four catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Carter with the tackle. Go line, Second go and goal. Get him. Ball at the two-yard line. Throwing This is a nice short yardage run here, Dan. When push comes to shove, you want to be able to get the yards you need. And as you can see, they got it. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Now the point after, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 10 kicks this one away. Number 83 fields the kickoff at the two. Tackled at the 29. Number 83 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. All right, all right, yeah. The 
Falcons haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Miller goes in motion. Number 25 carries it for the ninth time and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 29 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said that he tore his bicep. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Number four zings it to the right side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First, first down, tight end to the left. Ball at the Falcons' 42-yard line. Number 25 will get the handoff, and he gains about three yards. And that'll do it for the third the quarter. The, the Panthers quarter. enjoying a lead 14 to three. From the north, south, east and west. Party up, party up, we want party up. From the north, south, east and west. Number 25, chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Play action! Third and three. Ball at the Falcons' 49-yard line. Number 25 gets the call on third down and is dropped short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Pulls it out left side and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Woods with a stop to this pass play. He does a great job of covering his man and tips the ball incomplete. Check it out. Oh yeah, it's all about breaking up the pass and that's exactly what he did. Peter, that seemed like an odd situation to go for it on fourth down. What do you think? Well, it was very gutsy, but maybe they should have used their heads and not their digestive system on that one. How? How is that? You know, guts. Gutsy. 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 Digestive. Got it. All right. The Panthers' offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 47-yard line. Second and nine. Ball at the 47. Sanders will get the carry on second down and will gain close to six. Sanders has been taking it inside, taking it outside, heck, wherever this guy wants. What a workhorse. I love it. So far, he's piled up 73 yards and two touchdowns. Keep my field goal. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Sanders is at the 30, hugging it down at the 26. That will bring up first down. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Number four goes in motion. Sanders carries it for the fourth straight time and rambles for about five. Grant with the tackle. Cover down, D. Second and four. Ball at the 21.
Second down, four yards to go. Right tackle and Falcons take their first time up. First down, the clock is stopped at 155. Sanders takes it off the toss and passes the line. The Falcons will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down from the eye. Ball Number 88 goes in motion. Sanders takes it across. The Falcons take a timeout. That's their final one. This is the series here. Third and five. Ball at the eight yard line. Sanders carries it for the 21st time and runs into traffic. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 141. That will bring up fourth down. Sanders should have stayed inbounds back there. They want to use as much time as possible off the clock. No room on that play and they'll face a fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Number four with a 24-yarder and it's through the uprights. Number four has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 10, booms a beauty here. Smith decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of efficiency there. And when they do score, you can see that it's the field goal variety. They need to punch it in if they want a shot. Number 12 took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Falcons start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 135. Miller catches it in the flat, and that will stop the clock at... Number four, he's really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 91 yards and two interceptions. Second down. The Second clock is stopped at 132. 24 yard line. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a B that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Number four zips it to the left sideline, and this one is incomplete. Number eight executed a nice button hook back there to get some room, but just couldn't make the catch. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. Third down, one man back. It's intercepted. Two tackled at the 28. Number 21 does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. Second and 11. Ball at the 30-yard line. Down! Set! Black 25! Black 25! Hut, hut! 
one on the play. Come on, Panthers, let's get that first down. I think the bench is coming. Third and twelve. Baby. There's Ball at the 31. I got 14. Down. I got Set. Black 32. Black 32. Hut, hut. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Panthers come out on top 17 to 3. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Panthers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll start this one off late in the third quarter. Sanders found a little opening. That was all he needed. A two-yard touchdown for the Panthers. The Panthers now up by 11. The Panthers have to stop on fourth down, this time at the 42. Sanders let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. That set up a short 25-yard field goal. Falcons back by 14. Number 21 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers come away with a win, 17 to three. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Sanders is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big, and you helped your team put this game away. What put you guys over the top? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end to show. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time. Oh. <laughs>